Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got one system to do from the user Green Space Dorito um, in Discord here, so a massive thank you to them for sending this in. And yeah, it's called the um, Isaron Elun Elunri system, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong there. Um, but yeah, there we are, so let's get straight into this, so yeah, right. Let's go ahead and search this up and yeah, we are on part 100, yeah, 136 today, wow. Right, that is... That is really crazy, but yeah, anyways, let's get to the system. Right, so E, C, there we go. So let's go ahead and load this up, see what they have prepared for us today, right. But before we begin, guys, just a massive thank you as well um, for everyone who's recently subscribed, everyone who leaves likes, everyone who just comes back to the video every day. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I really, really appreciate it. And also, if you would like to send in your own systems for this series, make sure to join my um, Discord server, link in the description, and you can upload your solar systems in there, and I can get around to doing it in a video. Or you can let me the name... Yeah, let me know the name of the system in the comments on the Steam Workshop, and then I can go ahead and find it on the Workshop as well. But please note, it's a less reliable way of getting systems in as they can get lost. They can go in the spam box and all that. So yeah, please uh, keep that in mind. But yeah, here we go. On to the system itself. It's got a nice asteroid belt here. Some crazy orbits going around. Let's get a load of the object counts. So 2,400 in here. But anyways, all the way down to the star itself so here we go so it looks a to be a red dwarf star as we can see here so very basic stats um right there but onto the planets right so first time we have a little asteroid here looks to be um a little warm in temperature actually you can see yeah it's pretty actually hot here it's actually melting a bit that's pretty cool but yeah there we go and then object number two so just a, a default looking world looks a little glitched due to the version changes got that weird water line on it but yeah there we go it's at one degree Right, next planet out, we have got a pretty crazy looking one over here. Check this out. Right. So it's tilted on its side by the looks of it. There we go. Yep, tilted on its side. Got a massive patch of uh, lava here, molten rock. Pretty crazy there. Alrighty. Next object out, we have got this one. So minus 255 here. It appears to have the uh, water glitch on it once more. It appears to be... I don't know, never mind. It's got city lights on it though, so there we are. Yeah, blue atmosphere. Looks to be more like a desert world under that atmosphere as well. Alrighty. And then next object out, we have got an ocean world at 3 degrees here. Quite a nice looking object, actually. Very nice. Um, let's go, um, yeah, realistic. Turn off orbits, put trails on. But yeah, there we go. That's a nice object. Let's check the stats. So 97 there. Oh, 97 and a 68. So yeah, very good stats. Very strong stats on that as well. So yeah, nice, nice object indeed. Alrighty. Moving on to the next one now. All right. What have we got over here? So another one. Another um, basic looking rocky world here. So yeah, minus 265 again. It's got these weird water patches again with that um, that glitch, whatever you want to call it. So there we go. Next object out. And has over here. That's a very nice looking world. I have to say, yeah, the pretty uh, hot pink magenta color with a yellow atmosphere on top. Look at that. So yeah, very nice object there. I think that's my favourite so far, actually. And then onto the uh, moons. So we've got city lights on them as well. And then another moon all the way over here. Right, there we go. That's quite close to the uh, planet there. Righty. So now next up, we have got this one. So another another uh, ocean world. Oh, it's got some oceans. More, more like giant lakes, actually. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, you could probably argue some of that's an ocean. But yeah, there we go. So... Minus four degrees, quite a lot of uh, snow on this one. 92 and then 58, so again, pretty decent stats on it. Nice and green, got plenty of snow and water on there. So there we are. All right, now we are heading to Anax over here. So another um, more default looking world over here. So yeah, just another rocky world. Right, there we go. Probably could almost argue it's a dwarf planet with that sort of radius there, actually. Um, and then Turon over here. This appears to be, yep, first gas shine of the day here. So, um, red, white, and black in colour there. So, there we are. So, yeah, first off the gas giants. I wonder if there'll be any more of those further out. Then we have got some more um, little asteroid objects. So, it's two of those. Righty. Right, now we're taking a bigger jump to the next object over here. So, we've got another gas giant here. So, there we go. A little larger than Uranus and Neptune in size. At 31,000 in radius there. Righty. Right, now, next object out, we got another gas giant once again. So here we go. Colours look to be pretty random generated, I want to say, um, for there. But there we go. Right. 
um, and then the next object as well so another grayish um, grayish world here see these look to be i don't think these are customized um too many of these uh, then we have neil over here let's go back to orbit mode okay so we're taking a big jump out see so we've still got all this to do yeah i mean there's plenty to explore right so this is the next one righty so we're following all these guys around right, so another gas jump we're running out of light over here we're gonna put it on a directional light so there we go all right so moving on to the next one we're going into this asteroid belt area now as well very far away from the red dwarf but yeah these these all appear to be random generated um gas giants we can quickly just hop have a look at them but yeah there we go right then the next one over here what we got orbits okay so we've got a bit of a uh bigger system going on here this gas giant is definitely customized as well but here we go right it's got a nice blue band in the middle there as well and then it's got a big load of moons so here we go um, are they all asteroids it looks like they are yeah so there we go most some of them are a little larger more sphere like objects but yeah there we go further out and then yeah this is one we clicked on originally there so there we are right now uh the last two are over here i want to say so yeah these ones here so yeah just more uh defaultly uh generated uh rockies by the looks of it but, yeah there we go and then there's the next one so that one's pretty reflective actually maybe that's that one could be slightly modded i want to say i mean that, that appears to be quite reflective what is it, it looks, it's got uh what's underneath it so just a regular old text so, but yeah oh it looks like we've broken it there but yeah it's quite a reflective object so look maybe that maybe there's been some modern in that object's past but yeah there we go right next object out this one also has ice on it as we can see here but nowhere near as reflective as what this guy was so there we go all right right so where we're we gonna head next we can head to, uh yeah we'll do this uh thing so timey wimey portal here so that's um that's one of those that's the spaceship i think it was called in the uh the object menu where is it let's just scroll all the way down here uh what was it called um yeah the arrival spacecraft yeah that's the arrival spacecraft right um uh, and then now right we're moving to over what's over here so is this a black hole or is it a so what exactly, what exactly is this is this a dark i'm not exactly sure what object this is so we're on a flashlight it's definitely it's got to be a planet right i mean yeah, it's a gas giant. Okay, so it's a um, it's a tinted gas giant. Yeah, so there we go. Color mostly. It's a very, very dark red gas giant. So there we go. But even if I put the band color up, look, it's still... Oh, it's a star. Right, yeah, I generally thought it was a gas giant when we saw it like that. But this is actually a star. Wow, okay, so it's a black dwarf with a slight tint of red to it. But yeah, there we go. So we've just enhanced the color so we can see it a little easier. I'm guessing luminosity, yeah, very, very low. Black, so black dwarf. Right, and then it's got some objects around it as well. But yeah, I'm guessing none of these guys are going to be very warm because it's a, it's a black dwarf. But yeah, this, this object here looks quite nice. That appears to be a mercury texture. Uh, if we go to, just to confirm it. Def yeah, it's a mercury. Okay, cool. So yeah, mer mercury's quite a good looking object when you customise it, actually. Yeah, yeah, nice. So there we go. Really like the way that came out, actually. That blue atmosphere does look very nice on there. I have to say that the bluish indigo colour there. Good stuff. Right, then we've got another frozen world out here. Variety. And then another frozen world. Yeah, I mean, there's not going to be any water in orbit of a black dwarf now. So there's no luminosity. So they're all covered in ice, though. They definitely have, yeah, some decent water on them there to cover up the whole surface. And then, yeah, that is in a sort of weird binary with the main star over here. So there we go. Right, and then moving on, we have got another gas giant over here. This one's definitely had um, some customization on it. So here we go. It's quite a dark orange brownish shade it's got some darker bands in there as well and it's got one moon here so another frozen world so there we go righty right so we have done okay so this is the next one so camera room over here get 15 a so this is all by itself here right and that's got quite a weird sort of orbit going on so it looks like with some sort of comet what, what's this object here whoa that's the most unique object we've seen out of all of these i want to say i mean that's got this thing's orbit just starts from nowhere and then just bounces off to wherever that goes yeah so this has got quite a weird oh yeah what's going on over here let's zoom in on this guy so here we go i'm trying to figure out what texture up there is i think it may be one of the micro objects slightly so this is what it looks like normally oh it's series right wow series definitely looks a lot different when you do that wow that doesn't look like series at all but yeah there we go so that's series if you customize it right cool so there we go right now taking a massive jump 
the strange star so it's a ultra dark green black dwarf i'm guessing yes yeah, so it's very very cold here and here it is sitting alone very far out from anything else so as we can see here if we just remove the asteroid belt yeah you can barely see that red dwarf over there and yeah you're not going to spot or see the other black dwarf either i mean we can just zoom out um actually and yeah this thing will just disappear into the darkness of space it's too dark you won't see that yeah no light here whatsoever so yeah, there we go so yeah very very dim star as we can go obviously we could reignite it if we wanted to we put it say 100 i mean actually we know we did a thousand actually that'll get it going but yeah there you go so yeah very very dark star indeed there but yeah there we go but yeah i think that does it for the whole system so there's nothing yet further out so let's get a lineup of all of the objects in here so here we go right okay so that the black dwarfs are actually bigger than our main red dwarf star and obviously we've got some gas giants bigger as well quite a unique system actually because it's not often we have not many people feature black dwarfs i think that is the first black dwarf we have probably seen in a long time i mean i can't remember seeing a black dwarf before so maybe maybe this is the first time ever in over a hundred um, videos um i'm not sure if anyone's ever done a black dwarf but yeah i like that the ultra red um or like the red one and then the green one i like that i think that's cool so yeah, there we go. We can see it's very gas giant heavy. There's quite a lot of gases in here, all randomly generated. There's only a few that have been customized, like the blue one here. Um, and then the, this one over here, I think, would be is customized as well. But yeah, a lot of uh, random generated objects in here. And onto the Rockies as well. My favorite was definitely this one was close. But I think, my, I think the one that takes the cake is probably this one. The yellow and the magenta. I do like that color scheme. But yeah, this one, this one is a close second. Really like that as well. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for this system again, guys. Yeah, this was the Echoron Illuminati system. Yeah, apologies if I've completely butchered the name um, there. But yeah, there we are. And yeah, again, guys, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Green Space Dorito, for sending this system in. I enjoyed that. That was good. Um, I, I did like the Black Dwarfs. I think that's a cool addition. Don't see many of those um, often. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So obviously, if you want to make your own systems and send them in, make sure to um, obviously um, yeah, make the system. Join my Discord server, link in the description, and you can send them in there. Or like I said, you can let me know the name of it on the workshop in the comments. But yeah, just keep it in mind. It's a less reliable way of getting them into the Discord. Is you guaranteed if you put it in the um, list here, the upload um, chat. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, everything out of the way, guys. Make sure you have a great day. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video. Subscribe for new helps on the journey to 15,000 subscribers. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye and stay safe.